let's talk about the three sharing options that you have within NeuronWriter. The first option is to share a project with your team. To do so, you click on the team icon at the top of the window. In this case, we are sharing the project called Articles for Alice. Now click Add User button, then select the user permissions level. So you can either give them or take away the ability to create new analysis within the project. You can allow them to manage integrations and content synchronization. Okay, it's all up to you. Now you, you can either add your recent collaborants by clicking share access or you can enter the email address in the field below and then share the access okay i will click the first option here in this moment this person will receive an email with the invitation to that project important to remember is that when working within that project the person will use resources from the owner's account that is the account of the person who grants them access to the project lastly if you want to take away the access that you've granted to the user you simply revoke the access now let's talk about the second option of sharing that is to share the query with, with your team this time this is the query we want to share with our team to find the sharing option, you click on the three dots in the upper right corner of Content Editor. Then you go down and go for Share Editor Access. As you can see, you can share access either by email or by link. Let's check out the email option first, clicking on Add User button. Then you select the sections you want that person to have access to. In this case, the person will have access to the content editor and search console data. Then, in order to share that access, you either select that person from your recent collaborators or you enter the email address in the field below. Now, let's check out the link option. Again, you select the sections you want that person to have access to, then click save and get link, copy that link and send it to that person by email. Important to remember here that the person with whom you share that query with while working within that query will use the resources of the person who shared that query with them. Okay, now the third option is to share the document with the person with view only privileges. This option is useful when you share that content with client, for example. In order to find that option, you click on the three dots in the upper right corner, then you go for copy preview link. As you can see, that link has been automatically copied to the clipboard. You click OK and send this link to that person by email. Repeating myself, this person will have view only privileges. And that's all.